What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it's Qual Raven. When your parents ask you, do chores, you're doing nothing in COVID-19. What do you do? Well, what chore do you pick? You pick vacuuming. But what do you do to vacuum? Well, you order this Samsung bot, which is the PowerBot R7040. We are doing an unboxing of a vacuum, the PowerBot R7040, made by Samsung. So before we start the video, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything. And also hit that notification bell on. We're almost to 100 subscribers. So share this with your friends so they can enjoy this epic video of a vacuum. <laughs> hey guys, before we continue with the video, one thing I forgot to mention. I have opened a new Twitter account so wow. you guys can follow. I'll post a bunch of stuff there. I'll post videos, streams, whatever. And also stuff that might be surprising to you. I know, I can't tell it yet. You just have to hit that follow button or hit that link in the description down below. Okay, so in the channel, we have boxed a bunch of stuff. We have boxed it, a PC, mics, and I never thought in my whole entire YouTube life, I would actually unbox a vacuum. It's crazy, right? So let's talk about the features while in the power bar R7040 is 20 times more powerful suction than your original robot. Which, uh, has Edge Clean Master, which is basically this rubber piece that goes on the edges and it does extra cleaning. Uh, full sensor 2.0. So here's the thing with this. So in like in regular vacuums, you also have you have this bumper that it just bumps around, it goes around circles, blah blah, blah and it doesn't finish. Well, the neat thing about this, it doesn't have bumpers. Yes, it has bumpers if it actually bumps or something, but it actually has cameras or sensors all around the actual unit. So it detects where it can also map it with the app SmartThings, which I'll explain later in the video. All right, so let's unbox this vacuum. So I have seen this before, like a long, long time ago. I actually seen the Darth Vader one and the Stormtrooper one. Unfortunately, they don't sell anymore. I wish they still did because that was actually the latest and coolest model. So let's open this up. Wow, this is actually nice styrofoam packaging. All right, so let's see. So let's, oh wow, that was just straightforward. That was gonna be like a lot more boxes, but that was straightforward. So, Let's see what's in here. This is basically the external power supply. As you can tell, this is basically the AC cord. All right, so we'll put that right there. And you never expect a vacuum to include batteries, but actually it included two AAA batteries. Actually, two AAA batteries. So we're gonna put the batteries right here. Now, let's see what's in here. Oh man, this is. All right, so we're gonna get the actual unit out. Oh, that's big. All right, so if this is the, this is the unit, right? So this is the unit, right? So what is this, son? Oh, this is the dock. All right, so we're gonna get this box out of the way. Put that there. All right, so yeah, I, I, when I threw the box away, I didn't see this. So it's the quick weapons guide to see how you set it up. It didn't say the warranty, but it says the registry. Thank you for choosing Samsung, which is basically the warranty again. All right. And so now I know why I actually accrued batteries is it because it actually has remote control. So here's a trick to find out your brothers and sisters. So one day you're like, God, you actually die, and your brother and sister is bored. Well, then you can trick them to think this is an RC car remote. But instead, they're doing the chores for you. So let's take a look right here at the unit. So this push button is basically where all the garbage goes. So you have to take it off piece by piece to actually um, to get off it. And see, this is actually special foam that actually like, it helps. So we're gonna put this back in. So at first I thought this was like a speaker. No, it's not. It's a camera actually. This camera is all around this. This is a sensor slash camera. Um, this is actually touchpad, but it's not on right now because the emergency switch is off right now. So let's take a look at the back. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Uh. Uh. So as you can see here, these are actually the wheels. So the wheels, act, when you weight it down, it actually goes flat like this and then rolls. So there are six wheels, as I said. So two here, three here, and there's one big one, big one right here. This is the emergency switch on and off. It's off right now. This is actually how like the suction goes in. 
It's very cool. You, you're actually able to um, replace this or take it off or upgrade. You just have to take these switches off and it'll just push off. And there's cameras around here somewhere, but I have no idea where the cameras are. It, they're very hidden. But I think I can tell by this is like one of the cameras like right here. So we're gonna start programming this. I have to download the app on my phone. So let's do it. And we'll, we'll see if this vacuum is actually worth the buy. All right, so you can actually control the vacuum with the remote that looks like an REC remote, but we're not gonna use that today. We're gonna use actually the app. So here's how to access it. So you can download it from the app store if you want, or Google Play, whatever. Uh, then just hit the Smart Things app right here. And it'll read it to this. This is all my devices, as you can see. What you're watching right now is basically my, all my devices right now. Uh, so we have to add device. So we're gonna hit add. We're gonna hit device. We're gonna go to robot vacuum. There it is. Okay. Uh, don't go to Powerbot E. That's the wrong one because it's for different ones. So uh, go to Samsung, then robot vacuum. Then it's processing. Then it says, let's get started with the robot vacuum. Yay. All right, so then we're gonna put the room for cameras, for example, and you have to also have to put your location. So hit next. Then it says on the remote control for your robot vacuum, press and hold the clock button for more than five seconds until AP appears. Uh, wait, the clock button. Ah, okay. So apparently if I go right here and I hold this for five seconds, it'll work. Okay, now what do I do? All right, so next. Go to, okay, now you have to go on your Wi-Fi, iPhone settings, send selected network that starts with robot vacuum. Okay, we just hit join, and this should work. It's linking. Uh, oh, we are connected. Okay, we're connected. So we're gonna go back here. All right, it's connected to the device. Let's put it near just in case. Okay, it's going AP, so. Oh, now it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi network. All right, now, so the Wi-Fi information will be uh, sent to your robot vacuum. So it's connecting. So after this action, it will be taken to the next step, which is basically the, congratulations, you have a robot vacuum. All right. Success, yay, so we can name it. Let's name it Rover like a dog. All right, we'll spell, we'll spell it like that. Okay, so it's connected. So it's, the text is actually charging right now. So that's actually very, very neat. So in theory, if I hit the play button right now, it will actually, it will actually move. But we're not gonna hit the play button right now because we're gonna put this boy to a challenge. A challenge that he will probably succeed in, but 30% he will not. So we're gonna do the ultimate obstacle. So we're gonna let this run and I'm gonna time it, see how long it takes. So let's see if this is actually worth the money when you buy. So as you can see here, I put a lot of crumbs on purpose around here. So we're gonna test how much time it will take and we're gonna see the edging ability it can do. So I put some on the edge and we can see how many bumps were due at a time. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I timed it. It did it in under eight minutes and 30 seconds. That's very good. It got 75% of the room. It just didn't get like the corner, like right here where the box was. It was because it couldn't recognize the black thing that was like right under here. You guys probably can't see it though. So it didn't do it. So we're gonna try and roll control. Let's try to do the RC car way. Oh, that's cool. All right, so when I actually took it off, I didn't know it, it would tell you that. So it actually notifies you that the rover is off the, um, on the surface. So it says put the RVC on a E surface, which is actually very nice that Samsung put that feature in. All right, so let's see how much I captioned here. So we just have to push this. Wow, that's a lot. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in this. And this is gonna be the end of the video. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything. And also hit that notification bell on. And until next time, see you in the next one.